The building you see on your right hand side currently houses a Saturn V rocket. The Saturn V was the rocket used during the Apollo program to bring our astronauts to the moon. At the same time, the Saturn V is one of the world's tallest, heaviest, and most powerful rockets in existence. The rocket inside this building is the only flight certified Saturn V left the entire world, as it is made of the three, three, the, the, excuse me, pieces from the three canceled Apollo missions, Apollo 18, Apollo 19, and Apollo 20. Welcome back to Love of a Classic, and we are somewhere really different. We're in Houston, Texas, and we are at the Johnson Space Center. Lifelong dream of mine to go here. I know it's not car related, but I think if you're in the classic cars, you probably think space is pretty cool as well. I think space is really cool, but especially back in the day, the Apollo missions. The building behind me here, we have the Saturn V rocket, which we're going to have a look at. It is going to be really cool to see. Up here in the beginning, we have a F1 engine from a Saturn V. We have a redstone and a couple other things up here. And then over at the Space Center, there is um, a shuttle, which is kind of cool, and some other things. So. We're gonna just do, I'm just gonna walk around here, sharing you, with you guys a lifelong dream of mine of seeing all this stuff for real. But let's go inside and have a look at Saturn V rocket. Well, I'm right now experiencing I, like a childhood dream. I'm standing in between the second and third stage of a Saturn V rocket. This is just incredible. So this is where the lander would be and the rover and everything, this whole, module over here and behind me here you have fuel tank of the reception well, let's go down and just have a look at the rocket in general it is it's massively massively bigger than you could ever imagine i'm really happy that they um they restored it about 20 years ago and put it in here this building can just have a look it is it is massive let's go down and start at the bottom those massive, massive F1 engines. It's really hard to show a scale of it. You see all the people here. You can see just how. So you have first stage, second stage, third, and then the lunar. It's so industrial looking yet delicate with all the wires and cables everywhere and everything is just made for this thing. Nothing is standardized or you know it's just made exactly for these engines. Here's the second stage. If you think these engines are big just wait until we get to the first stage, but that's just so impressive. I, I'm a little speechless here because it's, I've been dreaming forever to go and see this thing and it is just a lot bigger in real life than I ever thought it would be. Now we're coming up to the five F1 engines here at the base. And there's one outside we can have a look at as well on the ground, but it is just, Amazingly huge. You see the people standing there in front of it? I mean, you can get the perspective just how how massive this thing is. It's by far the coolest thing, in my opinion, that humanity has ever built. This thing. Absolutely, absolutely fantastic. And just have a look here inside these massive. You can't even just see it. You can't get the camera to see it, any of the other engines. This is just one of them. They're absolutely, absolutely enormous. The other side with all the banners for the Apollo missions. One, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, and seventeen. This is the only flight certified Saturn V actually left. It's built from um, a couple different ones. I think it was some parts from 18, 19, and 20 built together and saved. So, nine here, and we'll go and have a look at everyone's favorite, of course, which is 11 up here. 
Yeah. On 20th of July, 1969, yeah. landed on the moon. Oh, this is just really, really cool. So I guess I'm just completely nerding out here for a bit, having a look at this. It's absolutely fantastic. But we'll go outside, have a look at some of the other things, and then we're going to go back to the rest of the Space Center and have a look at the shuttle and many other really cool space things. But Saturn V is by far the greatest thing that mankind has ever made. This is a, a replica of a shuttle on top of a real 747, which took the shuttles from the landing sites over in um, California and I think somewhere else, and then took them all back to Florida. So that's really cool. And, I mean, most of you guys have probably been on a 747. You know how big that is? So you can see how massive shovel is on top of it. You can see all of the heat tiles underneath. I mean, of course, it's a replica, but still. Rocket engines back there. Really cool. Up here, we have a SpaceX Falcon 9 laying outside. It really. A lot, lot smaller than the Saturn we just had a look at, but you see all the burn marks from everything. That's really, really cool. Imagine it went up and came back and managed to land again. That's just completely unbelievable, actually. And the shuttle over there. All right, so we're inside now, and this is Skylab, which is basically just recycled, or not recycled, but uh, it's basically a Saturn V rocket, it's hard to see, so dark over here, uh, up as a space station. But you get to see the command module over here, which will be, you know, for an Apollo mission, same sort of thing. And now I think you can see just how tight everything is. That's where you sat on top of that rocket when it launched. Let's just say that they uh, they really have some balls, these guys. That's amazing. And yeah, other oh, than that, there's a lot of cool spacesuits here. The shuttle. And we see, huh, the space station. But you can see the outside of it over here, that definitely is Saturn. See all the ribs and everything? It's definitely just a rocket floating up in space. We've arrived in the room with early space flight. So we have Mercury capsule right there and a Gemini capsule. And these, they're just tiny looking. You have a look at them. Not big at all. Look at the flight displays inside. Imagine being strapped inside that thing and not knowing if it's gonna work or not. This is uh, really fascinating. And then Gemini. Here we have the Apollo 17 command module in America. So this has been to space and back. That's pretty impressive. But you see just how tight it is in there. Here's something car related though. We have a lunar rover. Really cool. Yeah, a camera over there. Now over here we have a moon lander replica. It's really cool. And then there's some stuff. All the International Space Station. And a lot of other fun things to have a look around here. Well, that was something a little bit different, but I hope that you guys had some enjoyment out of it. Sometimes I just feel like making videos on something else and this was just a personal dream of mine to see this place ever since I was really little. And I don't know, I wanted to share that because I think we there are probably more people out there in the car community 
who really do think space is kind of cool and who's always want to see the big Saturn V rocket. And I just really want to share that and uh, I hope you guys enjoy that. Anyways, well, guys, we'll be back to the regular content next time, you know, with cars. So I'm finishing up the Back to Zero on the Series 1. You guys will see that. And then we have some road trip plan, collection capers, and some other fun things. So that will be coming really shortly. Anyways, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, share it with friends. And if you're not already subscribed to the channel, please do subscribe. It really helps out a lot. Till next time, I'm Adam. This is Live with the Classic. I'll see you soon.